Over the weekend, Zo sent an email to lots of their clients saying that they need to authenticate their domain on Zo CRM. As a result, hundreds and hundreds of clients and VIP club members sent us an email saying, what the hell do I need to do now? As a result, we created an email with explanation and we sent it to all our customers and our VIP club members. And also in this video, I'm going to show you how you can identify if you really need to authenticate your domain or not. So first of all, this is the email that was sent. You will see here that it's saying that by March 31st, you're supposed to re-authenticate your domain, which is not true. It's actually May. But let me go now to my CRM and let's go to settings and then we'll go to email and then email deliverability on the top. And here you can see that it's a little bit different message. Here it will be May 31st. Okay, so it's not March. Now, the way that you can identify if you need to re-authenticate or authenticate your domains is based on those. If you will see domains under authenticated domains, you're good to go. You have nothing that you need to do with those domains. If you have domains on pending or available email sending domains, you will need to authenticate those and you will need to do it using your DNS provider. If you don't know what I'm talking about, ask a professional or ask us or ask any company that is dealing with those kind of things. It's not a difficult thing, but it needs to be done. You need to have SPF and DKIM in order for your emails to be sent properly to your clients. It's important. If your emails or your domains are only under authenticated domains, you're good to go. You don't need to do anything. If you have your domains and those domains need to be authenticated, you will need to authenticate it. And once you do, they will be pushed to the bottom under authenticated domains. And then the problem is over. So that's it. That's what you need to do. It's a relatively simple solution. The main reason around it is that first of all, there are some clients that are not authenticated the domains and their emails that are going to clients are actually going to spam. So this is one important topic that you need to consider. Another one is that Zo will have multiple applications, Zo CRM, Zo Desk, Zo Books, Zo Projects, and so on. Each one of them will have its own authentication system. And Zo now are moving to a single authenticated system that when you have, let's say, authenticated domains under CRM, they will be automatically authenticated for Zo Books, for Zo Forms, Zo Projects, Zo Desk, and so on. So it's basically, it will be one place to configure do, the domains versus what you have now that you need to do it for each one of the applications. So that's a very good change. More changes are going to come. All of them are extremely positive. I can't disclose what I know, but they're extremely positive and you will be very much surprised how Zo are taking their business to the next level. Very, very interesting. Thank you very much, guys. If you find it helpful, thumbs up is always appreciated. Thank you very much for watching this session. We'll see you in the next one.